Oh yes, glory to God. You can become an authority in your world by the word of God. Your world in this sense means your fears of influence, your area of, of, of influence, the area where God has position you to challenge your world influence your world bring your world to a greater place um a more a beautiful place than you made it that's your world your world is that particular assignment that the lord has placed in your hand and grace you to do for him what are we saying the word of god is the surest route to a place of authority in your world you are a doctor you are a nurse you are a stay-at-home mom great office awesome job right you are called into the five-fold ministry you're called to be a lawyer you're called to drive uber you're called whatever you're called to do the surest way you can be authority in that domain is through the world i've always had this question asked miss ima i don't know what god is calling me to do i don't know what god is calling me to do i don't know my purpose help me discover my purpose definitely i can help you there are different components to it but the one component that will stand out and if you only have this one thing in place you will arrive at your purpose i'm telling you every other thing put every other thing being equal just this one thing is able has the ability can navigate your life to the point where you arrived at your purpose that's the word of god we have seen it throughout from the beginning of the month that the word of god is creative the word of god is powerful the word of god can create it can bring things into place do you know it is the same word of god that created the world since this world, this visible world was created by invisible things. When you choose to stay in the world, you choose to stay in your Bible, you read it, you study it, you leave it. It's a matter of time. You become a wonder to your world. Miss Ima, I thought it was prayer. Miss Ima, I thought it was great company. I'm telling you without the word, prayer is powerless. Without the word, you will not be able to identify who is a great company or not. Are you seeing the place of the word? For you to be authority in your fears of influence, for you to be who the Lord has created you to be, stay in the word. The word can help you like nobody else will. The word can enable you like nothing else will. The word can show you your future clearly, clearer that anything else can show you it's in the word that you know which of the five-fold ministry you're called to operate in it is by reading the bible studying it for yourself staying with the word staying in the word that you get to a point where you clearly can see revelation only comes from the word talking with a minister friend i told them i, I told it was a him i said i understand your challenge he needed time. He said, I need a revelation. I, like he, he, had, he, had a, he was at the place where he felt like the amount of revelation that he's been receiving during that period of time is not going to help him be who the Lord wants him to be. So he's telling himself, he said, you know what? He was telling me, what do I do? I said, you have to stay in the word. He said, right. Because revelation will not come if you don't stay in the word. Definitely there are things that you can do to to stand in the world one of them being fasting and prayer to fast i would say fasting means praying and studying the word so when you want to understand the word and gain revelation like nothing else will bring to you stay without food and study your bible and pray amen don't eat food eat only spiritual food the word of god and pray take time to do it intentionally and, and when you do it consistently, then you begin to get revelation consistently. What are we saying this morning? You have authority. You can become authority. That he has made it that way. That as we stay with him, we become, we are made in his image. As we be, behold him, we get transformed 
to the point where nothing is hidden before us. I'm telling you the advantages of staying in the world to the point of revelation. You begin to understand even things that are not in the world. You begin to reveal situations to you, challenges, people's challenges, and showing you how to help them. Before the enemy comes, he will show you the enemy is coming and show you what to do. Are we understanding? The word is that important. Spend time in the word. Spend time with the word. Turn your phone off and read your Bible. Study it and grow in it. Amen and amen.